lot of I learned, a liquid diet does give you a lot of wind. <laughs> um, and being on a Zempic has taught me you can never trust a fart. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Um, we just uh, we're in we're in the final stretch now. Um, Surgery is next week, um, so we're really starting to, to to ramp up what I need to do. Um, I've been on the liquid diet for about ten days now, and it is rough. It is really rough. Um, there's been lots of migraines, lots of headaches, just being generally really tired. Um, but doing some research, it looks like a lot of that is to do with purging sugar, purging caffeine, purging carbs. Um, I've, I've basically gone cold turkey on all of this stuff. Um, what have I learned? A liquid diet does give you a lot of wind <laughs> um, and being on a Zempic has taught me you can never trust a fart so there is a path that's been worn out all the way to my washroom there and back there and back there and back um, the head space is also weird I find myself in the kitchen opening the the fridge, opening the pantry, and just looking for food. Food that I know is not in there, but that muscle memory of just going, opening, it, it is still there. And I was thinking, you know, when I've been on the Ozempic, um, I lost nearly about 65 pounds. On the liquid diet, I've probably lost another five. So since my highest weight, I've lost about 70 pounds. And I think to myself, well, why am I doing this surgery? I can do this myself. And I've proven time and time and time again that I can't do it myself. I've, I've yo-yoed for so long, um, but probably for the last 10 years it's been creeping up and creeping up and creeping up and creeping up so I've been going through everything that I need to to start packing um, and everything I need to start buying so doing lots of buying all my supplements I need to take in a, a mug in, well, a mug a, a, a water bottle in with me um, so that they can monitor my sipping of my water when I'm in there. I need to take in a couple of spare bags to load myself up with all the stuff that they're going to give me there. I bought myself some new PJs and hospital PJs and they have they have sloths on so I'm excited to wear those. Um, I'll take my Kindle that's always a good idea um, but yeah lots of medication I've had to buy um, let's have a look I, ooh, I did have a, a list of what I needed ooh, this is not good so I need the um, prenatal chewable with iron uh, vitamin B1 vitamin B12 vitamin D calcium citrate and I need a, a one month post-op I need to start Centrium Forte and stop the um, prenatal. The prenatal is the one I've had the hardest time finding. I've, I've, I'm searching high and low for that. Even Amazon doesn't have the one that I'm looking for. So I will uh, keep doing, keep looking at that. The my glucose levels are, are plummeting. I'm, I'm getting some really low, low glucose warnings. Um, but I'm also starting to adapt the medicine that I'm taking. So um, I've stopped taking my, my vitamin D before surgery. Um, I have had my last Ozempic. I am not having an Ozempic this week. Um, so there'll be no more Ozempic before the surgery. 
and then I cut down on my Jardiance, which is my um, tablet form of insulin. And then the day before surgery, I crank down on the um, injectable insulin. And then nothing on that day. Um, looking at some non-scale victories that I'm really looking forward to is being able to shop in any clothes shop that I want and not being stuck to just a choice of two shops um, which is which is where I am at the moment um, pretty nervous I'm nervous but I'm excited I'm nervous just because it's surgery um, not worried about the surgery itself but it's just the, the whole healing from surgery and the whole learning a new way of life, a new way of eating, a new way of looking at food. But that will come with time and I'm looking forward to the, the new life that it's going to give me. Um, so yeah, let's have a think what else is happening in my life. I uh, just got notice that my rent is about to skyrocket. It's going up by nearly a thousand dollars a month. So looks like I'm going to be moving in October. Um, and then so October 2024, move into a, a two bedroom apartment. Uh, and then as of October 2025, I'm going to be looking for a little studio place. I am going to look at spending as little as possible, throwing money into retirement and just getting ready for, for hitting the road, getting that motor home and getting out there and hitting the road. Um, I don't think there's there's much other news. I mean, there'll be a lot of news next week. Um, but I, I've been, I, I've, I've done all the running now and there's there's no more running to do. I just now need to, to wait. Um, and I go in, in, five days <laughs> five six days so yeah it's gonna be fine it's gonna be good um, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock it I know I am taking some time off work and uh, yeah. yeah how much time do I take sick how much time will I be able to work from home so these are things that I'm gonna have to play by ear um, but I, I just don't know I I have no point of reference on any of this it's all so new but I'm already seeing how much my face looks different how much clothes fit me different I am still always surprised when I walk past the uh, the, the, the mirror at work in the washroom and I think oh <laughs> that's me <laughs> um, so yeah I'm I'm really liking what I'm seeing and I think it's I think it's only going to get better. I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to be strong. I have to be. I have no other choice. So wish me luck. Uh, I will check in as I uh, as I as I go in to the op and as I come out. So I will have a lot more to update you on next week. Sorry, it's been it's, it, there's really no um, news this week. But I will, uh, I will fill it up next week. So if you could like and subscribe, that would really help me. I would appreciate that. And I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.